Lesson 10. False Hope Syndrome False Hope Syndrome refers to a behavior of setting unrealistic expectations about the speed, amount, ease, and consequences of the changes you want to make in your life. People who fall victim to the syndrome make impossible goals when attempting to change themselves. They quickly become frustrated and quit. However, they still want to change, so they make another attempt, still keeping the same impossible goals. It's a vicious cycle of frequent attempts to change and failure because of impossible goals. It all goes back to instant gratification. The first part of the change, making the decision to make a change and setting an unrealistic goal, gives a powerful boost of hope that makes you feel good. This is like the dopamine surge from Lesson 5. And typical instant gratification, you haven't achieved anything, but by envisioning your ideal, you already feel like you're on top of the world. False hope syndrome leads to unrealistic goals because you're overexcited about reaching them. Some common unrealistic goals are People say I can lose on average 2-3 to pounds a week. To hell with it. Let's make it 10 pounds a week. I'll be slim and sexy in three weeks. No entrepreneur succeeded with their first business idea? Yeah, right. I'll be a multimillionaire in a year. There's a limit on how much muscle my body can take on in a week? Nah, that's some nonsense. I'll gain 30 pounds in six weeks like this guy from the ad. Each of these examples sets the person up for failure. Once they start making actual changes and their excitement cools, they'll notice how difficult their goal is and how unlikely it is to achieve it. The delusion quickly turns to resignation, which leads to breaking their resolutions. And just like that, they're back to square one. While trying again and again is worth applauding, and dreaming big is an admirable quality, It's a foolish thing to keep giving in due to the same cause. To break the cycle, change how you set your goals. First, set your goals according to the action steps you need to take to reach your goal. Second, find out what the average person achieves and adjust your goals accordingly. These steps are especially important if they're related to something you have little idea how to do. Thanks to this simple change in your attitude, you won't get discouraged by not reaching your unrealistic expectations. You'll be able to train your willpower to keep going instead of changing to resignation. You'll get more of the smaller excitements when you see your results and reach your realistic goals. Break the cycle of starting over and over again.